Fatal Damage. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about our Rock, Paper, Scissors game. Yesterday, we talked about statements. And I thought, you know, maybe we should, you know, talk about something like, I don't know, classes or methods. Something that makes sense like that. But no. We're going to talk about arrays. So, let's do this. One of the things I was thinking about was, you know, how are we going to store the, the win condition? So we can pretty much get rid of all this. So, an array um, is just like this right here. This is a string, and these uh, braces at the end of it basically mean that there is um, it's an array so we can make an int array this is um, our array and um, we can then do new int and we can we can specify how many elements it'll have if we want um, so now we can then um, add values to to it. So our array index zero. All arrays start with an index of zero. We'll make this ten, and then our array index one be 15 no 20 and then our array will be 30 yeah now what we can do is we can do um, a loop which we got to talk about loops which is not a big deal um, loops allow us to go over data many times. So let's create a basic for loop. And the way we do that is we create, um, there's basically three statements that we have to put in a for loop. The first one is where we initialize, initialize a variable. So we'll do int i equals zero. And then we have to do our test and we want i to be less than 3 because that's how many elements we have in here and then the last statement is we have to increment i so we have to do i equals i plus 1 now there's other ways we could do this we could also say plus equals 1 and that's the same thing as i equals i plus 1 or we could even simplify it more and just do plus plus and that will just increment it by one. So then what we can do is we can console dot write line and print out our array values. And then in the index field here, we'll put I. And then if we run this, we should get Yep, 10, 20, 30. That's awesome. So um, now let's let's add them all together. So we'll create a variable to add them. Uh, well, what should we call this variable so that it makes sense? Um, int sum equals zero. And then here we can do sum plus, wait, sum equals sum plus our array. And then outside the for loop, because we, we defined our sum here, now this is important. Anything within brackets that gets defined within brackets 
only exists within those brackets. So, um, our sum is There we go. Let's see what happens. Our sum is 60. Yep, 10 plus 20 is 30, 30 plus 30 is 60. So this is our array. Now, let me show you something else that we can do. You can create something that's called a multi-dimensional array. So to do this, we're going to create our int. And we're basically going to create, it's going to be an array just like this, but what we'll do is we'll add a comma, specifying that there's going to be uh, more than one um, column and row, if that makes sense. We'll get into this in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this our win table, and it's going to act be a new int. And then we can specify how many elements we want each of them to have. Now, to visualize what this looks like, let me show you. Uh, this is our table. And basically what we've done, um, let me create a new sheet. So imagine this. We've got rock paper, scissors, and then we've got rock, paper, scissors, right? So rock versus rock is a draw. Paper versus paper is a draw. And scissors against scissors is a draw. Now, rock, <clears throat> rock against paper. So this is the first player. So paper against rock is a win. Scissors against rock is a lose. And then rock against paper is a lose. And scissors against paper is a win. And then here we have uh, rock against scissors is a a win. Paper versus scissors is a lose. So you can see here, this is our table, and that's what we're going to be creating here. We've got three elements. Uh, this first element represents these guys, and these second three elements represent this. So here's what it's going to look like. Well, now we'll define our table. So uh, let's see if we can't get this over here so we can help us out. What we're going to do is we're going to create some variables. So int um, rock is going to equal the zero element, just kind of like uh, here. So this is zero, one, and two. And then int paper equals one, int scissors equals two. Okay, now let's create our, let's get rid of this for a second. Let's create our conditions. So int draw equals zero. Int lose is going to equal negative one. Oops. And int win is going to equal one. All right, so now we can create our table. Um, so first it'll be rock versus rock. And that is what? A draw. So this makes it really, really readable for us um, and allows us to understand what we're doing with our code. And the next one's going to be rock versus paper. So we'll do rock, paper, and that is going to equal a lose. Win table rock versus scissors 
that's going to equal a win. So I'm just going to do these first three. So let's define, let's say our player choice is rock. Okay. And let's say our computer choice is, let's say, scissors. Now we can test for the con these conditions. So we can say if, and then we'll have our win table and we'll put the player choice here, the computer choice here, and if it equals draw, console.write line, it's a draw. All right, now let's copy these, else if, and then we'll do another one. So this time we'll do, we keep the win table, but this time if it's say lose, we can say it's a lose. And if it's a win, we can say it's a win. All right, so let's run this. Let's see, we got, oh, see what I did here? You gotta use commas. I'm so used to doing the other way. Other programming languages do it this way. That's how they represent multidimensional arrays. Uh, C sharp does it with the comma, which I, I really do like. I like that a lot better. So, okay. So now let's go ahead and run this. And it says it's a win because we've got player choice is rock, computer choice is scissors. So what happened in this table is the computer player had rock. The, I'm sorry, the player, the player's choice was rock. The computer was what? So it came out as to say win in our console. So if we could change the computer choice to something else, like say we made it um, rock. Now, if we run it, we'll see that it's a draw. So this is a really nice and neat way to just talk about data and how it maps to certain wind conditions. And we're going to be going over these types of things a lot. We're going to talk about different types of uh, data types, you know, like arrays, uh, hash sets, um, dictionaries, you know, a whole bunch of different concepts that we're going to be using to store data and then use it to logically create conditions that uh, will either be, say, a win, lose, or, or whatever in a game. So this is just uh, the next step in our rock, paper, scissors. If you enjoy this, please subscribe. If you really like this video, please uh, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or any comments, please let me know. Comment. If let me know too also about um which games you like out of this um you know we're doing rock paper scissors right now and we've covered race and statements so we're going to be pulling more of these c-sharp programming language concepts and ideas and we're going to, i'm going to be showing you how you can use them in a game scenario so um also we're going to be talking about unity 3d and some of its specific libraries um, and types that it hits created. So thanks for watching.